And now, America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki C. and Cerullo. Welcome to the Archer's Choice. This week, well, guess what? We are going back to Colorado. Yep, for down with Billy. And stalking. Mm -hmm. Some muleys. And Sands hunting for whitetails. Yeah, I mean, it's a combination of everything, which is cool down there. Cause, yeah. You know, you have the river bottoms where all the deer, the whitetails white are. The whitetails, and then you go across the street there, and, and there's the a mule there. And the sage flats and everything else, and there's all the muleys. And, well, don't, fish. don't, don't give anything away. First, we're going to go into my spot and stock on a mule deer. He's pretty cool. He's not typical, but I got busted. Busted. Yeah. Do, 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 Check this footage out. It's busted. pretty cool. Do, 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 all righty. All righty. And you got busted. You got busted. Just over this hill, or over this knob, there's a big patch of just wild sunflowers. The way our wind is blowing. It's kind of spinning around right now. We're going to have to watch it, though. If it turns out the north, we're going to be in trouble. Because them muleys and them sunflowers are just to the south of us. The sun is just coming up over the east there. We're going to have to just get up on the top of this knoll a little bit more and see if it's not just the wind blowing down the creek bottom. Let's see if our wind will be okay, because otherwise we're going to bust them right out of there. I knew he was around here somewhere. We tried. It's a non typical mule. He's got a big drop time to stick it off that one side. Well, instead of burgering him up today, we're going to pack it up. We'll go on the stands tonight for white tails. If it doesn't happen tonight, we'll come back out maybe in the morning and try for mealies again. He's got character. That's not the big guy we saw yesterday, but I bet you that was the other buck that we saw yesterday morning. There was a really big buck, and then there was a buck that I said looked like he had trash on his head. That's the trash. We were walking as soon as I stopped. I heard you walking as soon as, as, soon as we stopped. I just saw dines and I knew we were busted because they looked straight at us. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Well, now, Vicky's up in the stand and so am I. I'm filming her and, well, lo and behold, we thought we were in Kansas because here comes a windstorm like we have never seen. The wind picked up so much that it's creating a dust vac. These trees don't snap. I can kind of feel it get in my eyes, too. I hope you guys caught that because uh, to hear her about the dust in her eyes bit. Yeah. Already making excuses and she hasn't even shot yet. What do you think of that? Hmm. Which way is the wind blowing today? Yeah, I think so. 
You know, I bet you a lot of you are asking, what do you do in a windstorm? Well, first of all, make sure you're in a good tree stand. Secondly, make sure the tree isn't dead. Third, tighten up your full body harness and talk to the big guy upstairs. Because hopefully, if this does stop, which they didn't even predict this, but if this stops, here shortly, the game is going to move. And if it doesn't, I'm going to need some drama beans here real soon. One of the things that Ralph and I have found this fall are thermal feet. It's just a little pouch. You put your foot in, you put a hot bed, a hot heat, a, a foot warmer in there. This morning on our way out here was 24 degrees. The wind chill was 16. It's only about 7.30 right now. Normally I'd be numb and ready to go back. That windstorm was something else, let me tell you. I thought it was gonna fall right out of that tree stand. The next day, we got into another nice stand and we had this beautiful buck come by, but he's totally busted on his left side. His whole left beam is just cracked off and Billy told us earlier in the day, we had seen him out in the field and he said, you gotta let that one go till next year. He likes that buck, so we had to let him go. Wasn't the easiest thing to do. Mm -mm.
Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. This next hunt is Ralph's mule deer. This hunt, words can't describe the feeling that's there as he and I were out on that sage flat, him hunting, I'm filming, and to share it with the one you love, I can't even describe it. Check this out. What we got going is Billy has been seeing a big muley buck, a big muley, and he's up in this sage, and if we could at least get an idea you know, spot him again. We're gonna get the wind in our favor and try to put a stalk on him. You know what's amazing is when you start to see these more mature animals and, and to understand what they do to survive. I mean, this particular deer, as in most cases, a lot of the older deer, you know, that buck was actually laying down with his chin on the ground to hide the massive rack. You know what I mean? I mean, as you see it, it's, it's just you, there's times you can't even see that rack. And that's how this guy, I mean, that's how a lot of these animals get that age structure into them because they have the ability, they've learned how to survive. Oh God, can you believe it? Billy! Oh! 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 You know, oh, I don't. Uh. Honey, I owe it to you. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Well, what could I say? Let's get back to getting our hands on that mule deer of a lifetime. We come up over this rise and we're looking all around and Vicky actually caught tines just 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 slightly moved. So you probably heard it on the wireless, I started going 
Okay, baby. So we come up, we come up, and I, I could see his tines at like, I ranged him, he was 40 yards. He still was facing the other way. So I said, you know what, let's keep going. I'm watching, I'm stepping. We're getting closer, we're getting closer. And I realized I was in within like 20 yards of this magnificent monster muley. And uh, lo and behold, I go, bap. He's looking around, bap. He's looking around. I whispered to Vic, and I, you, you'll probably hear it, is I said, Vic, make grunt, do something. And then she, she, she probably didn't hear it, but she did it. And then I went back again, and he stood up. And when he stood up, he just turned, and he looked right at my direction, and wham, bowie. <laughs> oh, you big guy. I mean, this was, RJ, this one was for you, buddy, because this was one of the times we, RJ didn't come with us to Colorado, and I wished he did, because... That mule deer there is bigger than Vicky's she shot a few years ago. You go, girl. Buddy. <laughs> nice stop, Good job. Good oh job. my gosh. Now don't hurt me. <laughs> oh, did you see that? Oh, Bill. Oh my gosh, Billy. Oh my gosh, Billy. Bill. Did you outdo Vic this time? Look at this buck. I know. I know. Look at that deer. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, Ralph. What do you think? You hit 200? <laughs> hmm? Oh, brother Bill. He's got two eye guards. What I'm doing here is filling out the tag. We're putting my Colorado deer tag on this monster buck. Congratulations. Thank you. That was awesome. Awesome ain't the word. Awesome is not the word for that buck. Do you I realize mean, that? I mean, from what we think or from what everyone has been saying, I mean, that's the biggest muley taken with a bow on film. You know, and that, and that doesn't really matter to me, and it really doesn't, it just... No, but it was pretty awesome. I mean, you and I sharing it together. I mean, I was the great Billy, cameraman I mean, behind you. Yep, it was just, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's one of those animals that you just, you don't go out there to seek. You know, that's not you what we're realize, about. I mean, no, we, we knew there was a muley out there bedded down with a small buck and a doe, and we just went after him, and then when, he, when we first saw his rack just move, we were like, ooh. And then when he stood up and you shot him and he ran away, we realized, oh, oh my goodness, just. That, I will probably never, ever have no. an opportunity. Anything bigger than that? At a. And you know what's, what's uh, th there's only one bad part about that, is neither will I. So that means you'll have a bigger meal there than me probably forever and ever and ever. I have no chance of yeah, ever but really you know trying really to cool beat that. Because I mean, you know, we are always kidding around and we're, that was just awesome to share with you and Billy. I mean, it was just, that, that, that animal, you know, just, Wow, and, and to have it work like it did, everything in our favor, the wind, you know, we got the sun in back of us, I mean, just. Everything, it was textbook. It was a good job. Congratulations. Bayman's baby. <laughs> I'll, I'll give this week's show to you. Oh, you will? Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't shoot anything in Colorado, so I kind of have to. <laughs> wow. Hey, so folks, just remember, thanks for watching Ralph's Archer's Choice this so week. So return next week, same time. Same channel. Right here. On, on the Archer's Choice. Ralph's Archer's Choice. Yeah, okay, on the Archer's Choice.